Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello, Carlos. Good evening. How are you? What the hell? I'm fine, teacher. Uh, just a little tired, but I'm fine. That's good. That's good. Do you do you generally finish early to work? Yes. I mean that's good. That's good. It means you're early in your house. It's raining now. Really? Is it? Has it been almost, almost has, raining? Oh, I mean that's cool. Has it been raining in that place these past days? I mean, I'm talking about Saturday, Sunday. Uh, a little bit. I'm asking because in here, uh, eh, pregunto porque acá en esta área, bueno, solo se ve las nubes, like, you know, like, como que ya va a llover, but nada, man, it hasn't rained, no, no ha llovido. Sad. Esto es lo que pasa que está lloviendo, pero empieza como a cernir un poquito, de ahí se quita, mm -hmm. sale un poquito de sol, de ahí otra vez se pone como caliente, o sea, y eso es lo que crea más, más ancudos, no sé. Ya, me sí. Sí, y después queda igual más caliente todavía. Uh -huh. Exactly, exactly. I mean, se suponía que era una especie de, de onda tropical o algo así, pero en here, I mean, solo ayer, just yesterday, llovió como por 20 minutos, but that was it. eso fue todo. Sí, eh, lo que es Honduras, Guatemala, ha estado algo feo, dicen que los deslaves y todo. Ajá, yo se imagino, y acá, nada. A I mí mean, no claro. ha llovido. Bueno, al menos en esta área no ha llovido. En parte mejor, porque imagínense, uno que solo lo puede ver bien, ¿verdad? Lo disfruta, pero otras personas sufren también. No, me da Entonces, eso, eso sí es cierto. Sí, eso sí es cierto. Right. En ese aspecto sí tiene, tienen tanto de razón. Pero, anyways, mira, ojalá pues. Y ver qué tal más adelante, ver si, si se normaliza lo del invierno and everything. Right. Good. All right, people. Uh, so we're going to start with the things that we're going to have for tonight. Uh, tonight we have a very different topic in comparison to the one that we were practicing, you know, like uh, last week, the last class. We're going to make a review because there are some things in the manual that we need to finish. Okay, I'm talking about uh, the topic related to the last class. Okay, so it's missing uh, a couple of things that I would like to, you know, like to, to, to do with you guys and, and, you know, like put that thing like over, right? But before doing that, I'm just going to pass the attendance list. So let's see how many people are here right now. Uh, let's start over. Let's start with Andres Joel. All right, he's not here. Carlos Mauricio. Present. No. no, okay, mister, thank you. Cindy Melanie. All right, Cindy, okay, she's not here. Stephanie Michel. All right, neither Michel. Ivania Yamilet. Present teacher. Ah, okay. Thank you. Jacqueline Patricia. No, okay, she's not here. Uh, Joanna Saray. Present teacher. Ah, okay. Thank you. Let's move. Jorge Alberto. Jorge. No, okay, he's not here. Uh, Jose Elgar. Jose Edgar. All right, neither Jose. Juan Emanuel. Okay, now Juan Emanuel. Uh, Julio Cesar. Man, a lot of people showing up. Karen Beatriz. Present. Okay, cool. Carla Lisette. All right, she's not here. Uh, Raquel Stephanie. Mm -hmm. Raquel, all right, she's not here. Uh, Veronica Arely. Present. 
Mm, okay. When did you let? I mean, I think it's not going to continue. William Ernesto. Present teacher. Okay, good. So, Mara Elizabeth. Present. Okay, perfect. Carlos Josué. Present teacher. Okay, cool. And the last one, Reina Lee Chavez, which is not here. All right, people. So, as I said, what are we going to do? So basically what we're going to be doing at uh, the beginning, it's, give me one second, who's this? All right. Okay, what are we going to do? Basically we're going to finish uh, one page that is missing related to the topic that we were discussing last class, all right? We're gonna make a short feedback from that and then we're going to continue with a, a series of exercises related to that and then I am going to show you uh, a short presentation that I have for the topic that we got tonight, right? Okay. All right, Andres. I'm gonna add you on the list. So just give me one second. I'm going to uh, show you the manual in the place that we stayed last class. That is this one. All right. Okay, guys, if you remember the last topic that we were discussing, it, it was how to use be going to, right? To make future, to create the future, basically. So basically this is structure. It's the one that we were missing some exercises, right? So what are we going to do with this? Listen up. We're going to make a short feedback, a short review from this, and then we're gonna move to a series of exercises that we have on this same page related to the topic. Okay. All right, saying, saying this, remember, be going to, it's the structure, okay? And this structure is mostly used to talk about future actions, okay? So be going to is slightly similar to will, right? Why? Because the going to is mostly used for activities that we have to make in the future, okay? So that's that's basically uh, the uses of be going to. And let's remember, as we have affirmative statements, we have negative statements. We also have, all right, questions as just no questions and information questions as this thing that you have in here, look. This is our, the affirmative sentences, okay? The affirmative sentences. And we have a series of exercises in here. I mean, examples. Uh, let me see, Xiomara, can you please help me out reading the first one? I am going to arrive on Friday 14th. Ah, okay, thank you. I'm going to arrive on Friday 14, right? Like, llegaré el 14, viernes 14. So you see, in that case, we are talking about something in schedule, right? Something in future. Básicamente estamos hablando ahí sobre qué? Sobre algo ya prácticamente establecido, right? Algo agendado. So in that case, right? For the future. Then we got a second uh, example. Uh, Carla, help me read it, please. I'm going to say only Monday. Okay, I am going to, or I'm going to stay until I'm Monday. I'm going to stay until and Monday. Until Monday. All right, very good. There you go. It's like, ah, me quedaré hasta el lunes, right? So if you take a look on that, so that's future. Okay, good. The next one, Carlos Mauricio. Miss Puentes is going to travel to Costa Rica on April 14th. Ah, okay, mister. Thank you. Give me one second. All right. So Miss Puentes or Mrs. Puentes is going to travel to Costa Rica on April 14th, right? Very good. So you're talking about a future action, right? In here, we are talking about future actions. All right. For example, 
we are going to finish the module on Wednesday. So you see, that's a future action, right? So that's something uh, uh, like, you know, like just to be talked in future. Good. Or you might say, uh, we are going to finish the class at 10. So you see, in that case, you have something even a schedule, right? So that's why uh, in that case, we use this uh, structure. Now, this is just for positive statements, okay? Now, what happened with negative statements? In negative statements, something uh, happens, right? What happened in negative statements? If you take a look at the examples that we have in there, look at this. In negative statements, basically what we do is just to put the word not in here. Just to put the word not, and we basically have, right, something in negative. So we have something, right, uh, that basically is not going to happen, right? Something that is not a possibility in the future. For example, if you take a look at the examples that I have in here, in, in here so we got the first one that it says, listen up, Miss Puentes is not, listen up, is not going to fly to Cuba on the 14th. All right, so if you take a look in there, just by putting not, I can change everything from the sentence, right? Because I am basically putting something into, you know, like into, into a negative aspect that it is not going to happen, all right? Good. The second example, uh, let me see who can help me out with that. How many people do I have right now? Uh, Joanna? <laughs> no se le escucha, teacher. Okay, thank you. I mean, sí. so, sorry, guys. Uh, thank you, Carla. Sorry, I don't know what happened. Se supone que tengo internet y no sé qué pasó. Se me había cortado la señal. I mean, this is weird. Okay, but anyways, let's continue. Give me one second. I'm just going to project what I had in here. This was crazy. Man. I was standing here. Uh, let me see. I was, I was telling Joanna to read this example. Are you there, Joanna? Aquí estoy, teacher, pero estoy un poco mal de salud ahorita. Ay, vaya, está bueno. Como usted dice, sí. está bueno. <laughs> ok, good. Verónica, help me out, please. Um, el segundo ejemplo, ¿no? Yes, the one, the one in negative. Ok. Mr. Gomez is not going to arrive on Thursday. 13. Okay, very good. Mr. Gomez is not going to arrive on Thursday 13. So that's something in negative, right? So in that case, it, both sentences are in third person. But remember, we can create sentences talking about first person, and that is no problem. For example, I am not going to work tomorrow, for example. So I am talking something negative, right? That is going to happen tomorrow okay that's related to negative statements right just to negative statements good let me see something without you thinking it that much uh, uh, uh. can you give me one example using a negative statement about an activity that you are not going to do tomorrow people please an activity that you are not going to do tomorrow can you mention it when you have it please just let me know remember an activity in negative that you are not going to do tomorrow hi emmanuel yeah. 
Hi, man. Okay, good. When you have it, just let me know and read the example, okay? No, teacher. Okay, William, go. Negative statement. Yes, the yeah. negative statement. <clears throat> I am not going to wash my car. Ah, okay, very good. I am not going to wash my car. Nice, man. Very good. Somebody else has finished? Okay, Carlos. Uh, for example, my daughter is not going to come with me tomorrow. Okay, very good. Excellent. Thank you, Carlos. Somebody else? Me. Okay, Xiomara. I'm not going to wash clothes. Ah, okay. I am not going to wash clothes. Good. Somebody else? I'm not going to finish my report. Okay, very good. <laughs> Thank you, Karen. I was crazy, man. Good. Somebody else? Alguien más ya terminó? Hmm. Uh, estaría bien. Ok, Andrés. I, I am not going to work tomorrow. Yeah, I man, it's ok. Actually, that was one of my examples like a moment ago. Good. Thank you, Andrés. Somebody else? Michelle, you finish? Eh, pero no sé si está bien. Eh, I am not, I am not, no, we going to not. I am not going to. I am not going to send the report of the day. Okay, good. I am not going to re uh, send the report of the day. Mm, okay, good. Okay. Yes. okay. Talking about future action. Thank you, Michelle. Carla. Me perdí, teacher, lo siento. No sé qué están haciendo. Are you serious, Carla? Lo siento, es que estaba distraída, teacher. <laughs> sí, así lo vi. Echándose grandes cucharadas de comida. Ok, good. Now, man, we were doing negative statements using the green <laughs> Sorry, man. Estábamos haciendo oraciones negativas con el be going to, right? Uh, and uh, some of your classmates were reading these examples. Look, these examples. So, uh, what they are, uh, are doing, basically, it's creating examples. One example about an activity that you are not going to do tomorrow. So, what is that? That you're not going to do tomorrow, Carla. Okay. Okay. I mean, I will wait for you, Veronica. You have it. Um, I am not going to eat pupusas tomorrow. <laughs> okay. Very good. Yeah, I mean, you're not going to eat pupusas. Good. Ivania. Are you there, Ivania? Hello. Okay, I think she's not there. Let me see, who else is in here? Mm -hmm. Ah, I mean, Carlos Mauricio. Are you there, Mr. I am not, I'm not going to Buy. And to buy a, a new car tomorrow. Okay, good. I am not going to buy a new car tomorrow. Thank you, Carlos. Okay, thank you. Carla, do you have one? You're the last one. I am going to sit hamburger tomorrow. Eat or sit? Sit. ¿Sí sabe qué es sit? Eh, 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 no. 
Sí, e a t Ah, e -A -T. eso. Entonces es it. It, ok. It's, porque sit es sentarse. Ah, ok. Ah, pues no. <risa> Ay, ver, no. Lo siento, siento teacher. Lo siento. Ya, Estoy distraída. Y ya así como, se va a sentar en una ambulancia. No, no. But it's negative. Remember, I am not. Ok. I am not going to sit. Digo, eat a hamburger. It? Ok. Yeah. Uh -huh. Eat. Ok. okay. Eat. No sit. All right, Carla. Good. Now, let's jump into the other one. Listen up. Just no question. Ok. With just no question, it's, this one is pretty easy. La estructura es bastante sencilla. Why? Porque como la estructura, if you remember, is be going to. So, básicamente, lo que vamos a colocar, dependiendo del subject que tengamos, es la forma del verbo to be, dependiendo del subject. ¿Y cuáles son esas tres formas del verbo to be que generalmente ocupamos? You know them all, right? Am, is, and are, right? Depending on the subject, okay? For example, take a look at that one that we have in here. Are you going to stay in a smoking or non-smoking room? All right, so if you take a look in there, we have R in here because we are talking about you in here, okay? For the next example, let me see. Who can help me at read it? Raquel, are you there? Raquel. Okay, I think Raquel is sleeping. Uh, 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 let me see. Michelle, help me read it. Hey. Are you going to make the reservation for a single or a, or a double? Ah, okay, good. All right. Are you going to make the reservation for a single or a double room? Okay, the possible answer is just like, yes, I am. Oh, no, I'm not, right? Information questions. This one is a little bit different. Why? Because in here... It's basically when we add the WH words. Do you remember them? What, what time, where, when, which, okay? All of them in here. For example, check out the example in here. How long are you going to stay? Listen up. How long are you going to stay? Por cuánto tiempo se quedará? So you see, basically in that case, we are talking about an scheduled event, all right, in the future, okay? That's talking about in the future. Now, the next example, uh, let's see. William, help me out reading, please. When are you going to arrive? Ah, okay, very good. When are you going to arrive? It's like, cuando llegarás, right? Very good. So that's something to talk about plural, right? Good. I mean, this is just, just a little bit what we were discussing last class. Esto es parte de lo que estuvimos discutiendo, I mean, la clase pasada. Uh, I think we don't have any relevance in here, okay? But what it, what it matters for me, it's this. Look. Esto es lo que me importa a mí que, que, que podamos hacer, ¿ok? Para pasar ya al siguiente tema. What is this? Look at this, guys. It says, order the words to create sentences and questions about scheduled activities, right? Ordene las palabras para crear oraciones, dice, y preguntas sobre actividades planificadas. Example, look. Tenemos acá la número uno que ya está hecha. All right. It says, to Dallas, you going to, when, arrive, are. Si ven la pregunta acá, como, es, como, es, uh, como dice acá, tenemos when, entonces prácticamente es una question form, right? 
Por eso tenemos acá, when are you going to arrive to Dallas? Good. So, básicamente es lo que quiero con las demás. Quiero que me las ordenen, ya sea si son preguntas, pues va a llevar cualquiera de las WH words. Y si es una simple oración, pues ustedes ya saben cómo formularlas, ¿ok? Let's do it. Creo que en unos cinco minutos lo hacemos, right? Let's go. This one is going to be individually, ¿ok? Esta sí la vamos a hacer individual. Let's focus on that, people. And uh, give me one second. Okay, when you finish, just let me know, please. All right, if you have any question with, with anyone, uh, you know, like, just let me know. All right, guys, how do you go? Como vamos? Are you about to finish? Finish, teacher, solo que no sé si finish. me hubiera equivocado en algún. Finish, <risa> vamos teacher. a ver, ok, perfect, perfect, thank you, Samara. Ya vamos a revisarlas entonces, no problem. So let's wait for the rest to finish. Finish. Now, okay, thank you, Michelle. Very good. So let's wait for the rest.
All right, I guess most of you are finishing or you are about to finish. Let's just start over with the first things that we have here. Uh, and let me see, I'm going to put this thing in here. Okay, in number two, it says, are a reservation that you go into for ref conference room and make? What do you have? How do you organize this one? ¿Cómo la ordenaron? Yo puse, teacher, are you going to make a reservation for conference room? Are you going to make a, res a reservation for conference room? Like this? Yes. Are you going to make a reservation for conference room? Yeah, I mean, it's like that. ¿Todas la tienen así? ¿Al menos los que ya la han hecho? ¿Me podrían confirmar o lo tienen diferente? Yo no la hice como pregunta. Pero yo tengo una pregunta, pero ¿por qué lo puso como pregunta? Ahí no aparece el signo al final. Question. The symbol. El signo de pregunta, o sea, yo la hice afirmativa, no como pregunta. Ah, porque veo que no hay un signo. Bueno, de hecho, en la gran mayoría no hay signos. En, ajá, en ninguna, por eso todas las hice afirmativas, no como pregunta. Ah, el detalle es que en la indicación arriba sí dice escribir oraciones y preguntas. Por ejemplo, look at this, Ivania. En el caso de esta pregunta, en, este, en esta número dos, Sí, es una pregunta, ok. In, the, in that case, you have to put the, 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 the question mark. Pero ya en la tercera, listen up, tenemos una contracción de am entre el subject y el verbo to be. Ahí sí, definitivamente no puede ser una pregunta, right? In that case, it's not a question. It has to be an answer, all right? Or a sentence, as you want to call it. ¿Cómo le quedó esa número tres, Xiomara? Can you please read it? No es así, no me quedó como pregunta. A mí me quedó, I'm going to request wake up call for 5 a.m. I am going to put it. Give me one second. I am going to request. Okay, give me one second. I'm going to, to request. Wake up call. Okay. A wake up call for five a.m. Okay, here we go. This is the way how it ends up this one. Yeah, I mean, this is the way for number three. Okay, let me see number four. It says, listen up, going to Tomorrow check out is Mestorcios. Michelle, what do you have in that? La número tres. No, number four. Pero ahí entonces la tres. Es la que acabo de hacer, la número tres. Ok. No, pero yo la tengo mal a la tres. Ah, ok. <laughs> Modify it. Vaya, la cuatro, pero no sé si está bien. Ok. Mi, mis turcios is going to check out tomorrow. La idea es. Mis is going to check out. Sí, así está mal. No, nah, man, it's okay. That one is okay. <laughs> Está mal. No, no it's okay. <laughs> it's okay, Michelle. Good. Thank you. Let's see. Next. Carlos. Jose. Help me out, Mr. La cinco, ¿verdad? Yes, number five. It says, on uh, conference, yes. going to a maintenance team 
And then we have is attend the October 10th. Uh -huh. Empezaríamos con el is. <coughs> Eh, sería is the conference is the conference uh, going to is the conference going to traigo larga go man go no problem is the conference going is the conference going to on Is the conference going to on the real edifice, teacher? Ah? No, borre, este, borremos el on, fíjese, porque, ajá, sería, is the conference is the conference Ah, Carlos, listen, le voy a dar un, un, una, una pista, una clave, ¿ok? Uh -huh. All right. Necesita un subject, necesita un sujeto, y conference no es un sujeto. Correcto. Entonces, podría es ser... Algo, es una palabra que represente personas. Sí, por ejemplo, podría ser, is the maintenance thing. Yes. Uh -huh. Maintenance team. Maintenance team is the maintaining teams uh, going to. Uh -huh. The maintenance team going to. Going to. Uh, going to a conference. Sería así? A conference. A conference. Attend. On... Attend. Pero. Yes, Carlos Mauricio. Recuerde, Carlos, después de un, sí. del going to, ahí es el verbo. Sí. Going to, eh, ¿cuál es el verbo? Is the, is the maintenance team going to eh, attend? Ah, ok. Going to attend a conference, a, con a conference. On, on October 10. Gran trabajo de lenguas, teacher. On, on October. Ajá, on October 10. On the October. Ajá. On, ah, on the October 10, ajá. ¿Y ese D de dónde sale? Ahí, ahí está, teacher. En, a la parte de ese de October 10. Abajo, en la, en, en la oración que estamos armando ahorita. Ah, pero usted me dijo que lo pusiera al principio, mire. Is the maintenance team. Ah, sí, sí. I'm sorry, teacher. I'm sorry. <risa> sí, <risa> como, como no hay dos, o sea, sí. va ahí o al, o al final. Ajá. Correcto. Ahí está, teacher. Exacto. Is the maintenance go team going to attend a conference on October 10? Correcto. Oh, ok, very good. Yeah, I mean, that's the way. Cuesta un poquito, okay, pero sí. That's, esa, es, esa es la forma en cómo se desarrolla, ¿ok? Así quedaría. That's cool, teacher. All right, very good. And in here, of course, the question mark, ¿ok? Because it's a question. Nice. Let's, let's jump into the last one. Ok, and for that, I want... Let me see can, who can help me out. All right, Carlos Mauricio, I think you, you have already finished everything. Help me out with this. Miss Diaz is going to need a on Yes, yes, number six. Okay, Miss Diaz. Mr. Diaz. 
is going to is going to need non-smoking room. Like this. Bueno, lo único que yo también es 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 bastante para que me perdí. In here. Ajá, esto va. Ah, entonces es pregunta. Se supone que pregunta vamos a hacer ahí, ¿verdad? No, pues en algunas era preguntas, en otras era respuesta. Acá dice, mis días uh, going okay. to need no, a non-smoking room. Actually, a is missing here. Ah, pues, ah, pues no, así, así como le dije. Sí, primero. Ah, ok, pues muy bien. Mis días is going to need a non-smoking room. So this is the way how it's written. Esta es la forma entonces como les quedaría. For the rest. No sé si alguien lo había transformado en pregunta. Gran pena, yo no, okay, perfect. So you have it there. You see? Those are the ones that we generally use to fill that part, okay? That part. Nice people. Now I'm gonna stop in here with this and I'm gonna stop sharing. All right. Now okay, William. Espero que no le vaya a terminar de fallar. Uh, I'm going to stop in here and I'm going to show you the presentation that I got for tonight. Give me one second. So this is what we are going to be discussing the rest of the class. Check this out, guys. It says video conference or team. How to use the beta here? This is the class uh, number 18. Remember, and the main topic for the rest of the class is just going to be how to use imperative. Have you ever heard the word imperative before? ¿Alguna vez han escuchado la palabra imperative en el pasado? Y si lo han escuchado, ¿qué, qué es un imperative? What is an imperative for you? ¿Qué es un imperativo? Any idea? Any participation? No, no sé, teacher. Hola, Gabriel. Yes, imperative. No, nah, creo que no. Todos se han quedado así como que. No, nah, no sé qué es eso. All right, good. Let's move. Let's start with the class agenda, right? Before going up to the imperative uses, okay? Uh, we're going to have a review from the previous class. This is something that we finished now. Es algo que ya hicimos. Okay, we finished. Then we're going to talk about the imperative. You're gonna have a vocabulary words, all right, after that. And after that vocabulary, you're gonna have a short practice in a short conversation. And after having that short conversation, we are going to listen up. Uh, work in the manual, okay? You're gonna work in the manual. Let's start. This is just a review about the things that we had, okay? I am going to call my boss. Just like, take a look at this. You are going to visit your relative. He is not going to prepare the presentation, right? Uh, she is going to call customers. Are they going to do the homework? Okay, and the last question is this. We are going to finish the module two, in two days, actually, all right? in two days there you go so these ones are related to the you know like the structure that we were practicing uh a moment ago 
But now, what it really matters? Questions to discuss, he says. Let me ask you something, people. Are you good at reading maps? Are you really good at reading maps? ¿Son buenos ustedes leyendo mapas? No. Why not, Michelle? Oh. Me pierdo. <laughs> Siempre me pierdo. Jesus Christ. Even with the GPS? Con, todavía con GPS me pierdo. Ay. Soy mala para la dirección. <laughs> This is funny, man. Es como cuando va pasando, right? Y tiene que girar a la derecha justo en el instante. Y cuando viene a ver, ya son dos cuadras atrás. Ah, I mean, that's, that's really funny. Confunde. Me ha sucedido varias veces cuando he ido a San Salvador because when I'm going to San Salvador, I mean, I just go with GPS because I'm, I'm, I'm sure I don't know San Salvador. No conozco San Salvador. Yo solo conozco la zona que... La entrada va ahí el paso del jaguar uh, por el, el Cuscatlán en uh, Metro Centro Area. Then that's it. Y eso es todo. All right, that's it. Ya introducirme por la avenida de los Proceres, creo que es la, la principal. I don't remember. Creo que, pero creo que esa es. Sí, los I mean, Proceres. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I had to go with GPS. I had to go with GPS. Otherwise, I got lost. I get lost. Yeah, I mean, and, and last time I was waiting, I, I was with my wife, you know, like I was searching for a friend uh, last time. Y, y sí, man, es un dolor de cabeza, like to be with the, you know, like with the phone in here in one hand and with the other hand in, in, the, in, the, in the car, you know, like driving and one eye in the GPS and one eye in the, in the traffic lights, los semáforos. Man, that's, that's crazy. Por eso digo que la vida, la vida en la capital es acelerada sometimes right? too much traffic ya era chocado ahí <laughs> but things like that okay but I mean in my case in 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 places like that yeah I mean I I'm I'm good at uh, reading maps but uh, Michelle says that she's not good Carla how about you vamos a comenzar con las las no primeras. no teacher soy mala también para las direcciones y aún así dando mi ubicación Doy mala ubicación. Perdí a cierta personita. Bueno, por mi trabajo. No dio. Estoy por un, por un edificio rojo. <risa> no, pero por, al final por un árbol salí. De mango, ah, ah, ah. Pero soy mala para las direcciones. Y aún así dando las direcciones soy mala también. Jesus Christ. O sea, si el mapa dice hacia arriba, este le da hacia abajo. Ah, hacia abajo, ajá. Good, good, good. Let's see. Karen, how about you, Karen? Are you good at reading maps? Yes, teacher. Nah, I mean, you see? You see I have Karen. worked yeah. reading maps. Ah, really? Yes. Ah, I mean, that's good. Doing cartography. Ah, really? Yes. I mean, that's awesome. That's cool. You should give some classes to Carla and, and, and Michelle, man. <laughs> Para que no se pierdan. Yes. Okay, man. Cool, Karen. Por cool. favor, lo necesito. <laughs> yeah, man. You need it. Let me see. Xiomara, how about you, Xiomara? Are you good at reading maps? No, teacher. Not good. Okay. No. <laughs> no. Okay. Yeah. I mean, there are there are some some of you that are not really good, right? Even though we we try, but we are not like like we feel lost. That's that's the thing. We feel lost. Okay. Let me see. Any other girl, Ivania? How about you, Ivania? Are you good at reading maps, Ivania? Yo solo he mandado mi dirección por WhatsApp. Pero usted cuando le han mandado alguna dirección nunca ha ido. Um, siempre me he ido por, por el Waze. Ah, man, but, but it means you're good at reading maps. Sí. Ah, man, so that's great. In that case, you don't have any problem. You don't mm -hmm. have any problem. 
Nah, man, like that's, that's crazy. I mean, uh, that's why I'm telling you. You know how to drive in San Salvador, but I mean, life in San Salvador is so, so fast. So, sí, estoy utilizando la aplicación de Drive y de Uber en San Salvador también. Ah, I man, that's cool. That's cool. Nah, man, and the thing is that, for, for example, if I go to Zulutan, sé que si, si giro a la derecha, I mean, es una sola cuadra, I mean, una sola. No hay más. No depende de, de, de una en la boca calle, de una entrada, right? But if I go to San Salvador, the, the, the best thing is like, the worst thing is like, the GPS tells me, gira a la derecha. Sí, pero a la derecha hay cuatro, cuatro ramificaciones de calles. I don't know what to, which one to take. Y a veces eso, sí. Pero la aplicación confunde. siempre le va diciendo cuántos metros va a girar. Ah, ya, yeah, man, pero lo que pasa es que sí. Eh, es que uno que nunca ha andado en ese tipo de tráficos y, y, y medio se detiene el de atrás ya está pitando con todo <ríe> a veces el semáforo en rojo y ya me estaban pitando los carros y yo, Ay, qué onda, qué pasó tranquilos wow, that, that's crazy man, la Eleven en San Salvador is super crazy I remember the school you know, I mean you're good at reading maps then, good Rápido, rápido, ahora quieren acordar el 10 de mayo aún Uh, yeah, man, ya, ya, me imagino esos días, man, like, like Mother's Day, gran caos por todos lados, ¿eh? Nah, nah man, cuando se supone que medio mundo debería de estar en sus casas. <laughs> And they are out. No entendió, creo, teacher, a, a Gamero. Hola. Creo que no le entendió lo que, lo que le quiso a Gamero dar a entender. ¿Será que no le capté? What did you say, Carlos? ¿Qué dijo Carlos? Mejor que no te teacher. <laughs> ah, come on, man. <laughs> ya me dejó en la luna. <laughs> okay, but it's okay. It's okay. Uh, let me see. Who else? Any other girl in here? Uh, mm, mm, mm. Raquel is sleeping, man. She's not going to answer. Ah, uh, Verónica. Creo que los mapas los leo un poco, teacher, pero en la vida real me pierdo. ¿Cómo así? <laughs> me I pierdo mean, también en las calles. Ah, I mean, on the streets. I mean, that's, that's, that's typically. Like, for example, in my case, si a mí me dicen, váyase por la cuarta avenida de no sé qué y luego gira en la octava calle, no sé qué. I mean, I don't know that. For real, I don't know. I don't really know that. La última vez que estaban pidiendo la dirección de mi trabajo, no la sé. I don't, I don't know, man, the, the direction. It's, it's, it's so complicated like that que yo solo me guío por referencias, man. Like, like, a la par de una farmacia, you know, like, uh, in front of something, en frente de, 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 de algún centro comercial reconocido, things like that. That's the place. In my case, for example, the place where I work, el lugar donde trabajo está Justo, justo a la par del penal, all right, del penal en Usulután y está enfrente al cruzar la calle del estadio de, de Firpo, por ejemplo. Pero that's it, that's my, my direction, my address. Pero esa es, la, es, esa es la dirección que yo doy, así. Pero si ya me preguntan cuál, cuál es el nombre de la calle, cuál es el número de casa, and everything, I got lost, for real, I got lost. And I had to go and check the, the, the GPS for, for a better response. Okay, good. Now, taking apart the ladies, how about you guys? Are you good at reading maps? Carlos, both Carlos and, and William and Emmanuel and Andres? Yes, teacher. No. Todo lo manejo con Waze. No, Pero okay. sí, lo, sí, sé leer bastante el Waze. A Waze no le tengo confianza desde que una vez en San Miguel me metí en una calle contraria a mí. No, el, el Google Maps daba direcciones contrarias antes. ¿Really? No, sé cómo está, no sé cómo está ahora de actualizado, pero el, el Waze sí está bastante actualizado. Ah, bien. bien entonces no lo sé. Solo la primera y última vez que lo hicimos. Yo solo me guiaba por Google Maps. A mí, nunca me ha fallado hasta el momento. That's cool. Uh, and you, Gamero? 
for my job. Good. Nah, okay. Casi me puedo todas las nomenclaturas en Salvador. Oh, I mean, that's cool. That's cool. That's nice. Uh, and you, Mr. Chavez? Sí, yo pienso como William, de que de, hubo un tiempo, de hecho, que yo usaba mucho Maps, pero nos mete por funciones antiguas, como que está muy desfasado y, y, y es por calle, es que nada que ver. Entonces, güey, sí, bien, es bien exacto, porque me lleva justo donde yo quiero estar. Confío Amen. bastante en güey. Ah, that's, that's, that's interesting. En serio, y yo que no, y yo a veces cuando se lo dieron a San Salvador, tengo desconfianza de usar Waze desde esa vez que me metí en calle contraria. De hecho, teacher, Casi solo Google Maps. Cuando yo voy para Oriente, yo uso Waze, por ejemplo, si voy a la Unión, que no conozco algún cantón o algún pueblo de ahí, este, me lleva justo donde quiero estar. Ah, me interesa. Creo que lo voy a descargar al rato y voy a comenzar a usarlo para viajes largos, así menos. Les sigo esa, vamos a ver qué tal. Definitivamente, teacher, ocupa el Waze. I will, o sea, I will use it, I will use it. O sea, siempre puede haber una prueba de error, pero yo le doy casi que un 95% de seguridad. Ah, mira, es cool, then. It's good, it's good. Pero no hay que seguirlo en todo, ¿verdad? Es como en la noticia que salió a alguien que, que se fue a dar en unas escaleras de un centro comercial siguiendo Waze. That was funny, man. that was funny. Okay, good. Let's continue. It says, do you usually ask for directions to locate places? Bueno, I think, I think if we have ways, if we have Google Maps, I think it's not really necessary to ask for, uh, you know, like the directions where a place is located, right? Eso si un lugar ya sabemos que podemos encontrarlo a través de una aplicación, Creo que está además eh, 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 el preguntar, right? Donde ciertamente está localizado. I think we don't, uh, we don't, we understand this part. Creo que acá sí estamos bastante bien. Now, listen up, people. Let's start with the main topic that we got. Imperatives. What is an imperative? Bueno, la mayoría me comentó que no, 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 no. Hasta el momento no han escuchado sobre esta palabra. Aunque yo les hago mención, estoy casi seguro que sí ya la han escuchado de módulos anteriores. Sí, teacher, son como oraciones para este, dar una orden o una petición o algo así. Ah, I mean, that's cool, that's cool. Thank you, Verónica. Yeah, I mean, that's an imperative. What is an imperative? It says, look, an imperative is basically a command or order given by a person. Básicamente es una orden, por así decirlo, o una, una forma de comando que una persona suele dar a otra o a un grupo de personas para hacer o culminar ciertas actividades. Ok? That is an imperative. Right? If, for example, si Carlos Mauricio está, right, like, que ya terminó clase en everything y digamos que no se quiere dormir, no se quiere acostar with the lights on and everything y la esposa le dice go to sleep Carlos so that's an imperative right? ese ya sería un imperativo right? ¿por qué? porque básicamente es una indicación o una orden que le han dado All right? so that's an imperative básicamente un imperativo entonces es una orden ok That's how we classify this. La, uh, estoy casi seguro, no sé si fue el módulo pasado. Yeah, I think that was the last module that we were working on, en el cual estuvimos trabajando con imperative, pero fue de una manera general. How come? Estuvimos hablando sobre ciertos temas, pero uh, más que todo enfocados a cómo poder nosotros dar una, un, una orden. ¿Ok? Por ejemplo, estamos practicando de, 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 de oraciones o imperativos cortos. Now, ahora lo vamos a hacer, pero con la única diferencia de que ahora lo vamos a enfocar en directions or addresses, right? Ahora va a estar dirigido a proveer direcciones. Check this out. 
we got an example of an imperative. Go down this street, then turn right. Ah, baje por esta calle, luego gire a la derecha. If you take a look in there, that's an imperative. ¿Por qué es considerado un imperative? Porque básicamente si alguien pregunta sobre una dirección uh, y pues la dirección es dada de manera adecuada, so esa persona va a catar las indicaciones de la persona que, se le dio la, que le dio la dirección, right? So that's why it is an imperative. Por eso es que es un imperative, right? Why? Porque básicamente nosotros acatamos las órdenes que se nos dan, ¿ok? Si nos, gire, si nos dicen gire a la derecha, right, y camine tres cuadras, you will do it. Lo vamos a hacer, right? So that's why it's an imperative because we obey a command. Porque nosotros obedecemos un cierto modo de command, like, to put it like that. Good. Let's continue. For that, all right, for that, in the correct uh, function, we're going to use prepositions. Para el correcto uh, funcionamiento, por así decirlo, de las oraciones, dando un, 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 un command or imperative, por lo general necesitamos prepositions. ¿Y ¿Cuáles son esas prepositions comunes que eh, solemos utilizar nosotros? Check this out. These are like the most common ones. We got next to. What is next to? According to the picture, de acuerdo a la imagen, que ven ahí los dos recuadros. A la, a la par de. Exactly, a la par, right? Next to, a la par de. In front of. In front of. Okay, very good. The pronunciation is in front of. Behind. Okay, good. So we have another one. Between. ¿De acuerdo a la imagen? ¿Qué significa between? Entre. Exactly, right? Significa entre. Pero entre dos cosas. Okay? Si ya son más de dos cosas, ya no es between. ¿Cuál sería entonces? ¿Cómo es para decir en medio de o, en, o entre varias cosas? Varias personas, varios lugares. ¿Lo sabe? No me recuerdo eso, pero usted ya lo había mencionado en el módulo 2, pero... <laughs> yeah, man, in módulo 2 se los, se los mencioné. Okay, esa palabra es, es esta. Look. Among. That one. Among. ¿Qué significa among? Básicamente significa entre varias cosas. Más de dos cosas. Right? Let's remember. Good, let's move. Across the street. What is that? Across cruzar la calle. Al cruzar la calle. Very good. That's the one. Around the corner. What is that? Around the corner. Carla, taking in consideration the picture. ¿Qué cree que significa around the corner viendo la imagen? Como en la esquina. No, okay. Así like, lo entiendo yo, como en la esquina o en la vuelta. Ya, yeah, I mean, like, let's see, Carla, por la esquina. Okay. Como nosotros decimos, por la esquina. That's what it is. Okay. Very good. Next. On the right. What is that? On the right. Por la derecha. Okay. Por la derecha o a la derecha. Very good. On the left. 
por la izquierda. Excellent. Down the street. Abajo de la calle. Ah, o sí, bajo, no. bajo la calle o... No, porque si dice abajo de la calle o bajo la calle, significa que está literal, abajo, debajo. Sobre la calle. Al bajar la calle. Ah, es al bajar la calle, ok. All right. There you go. Al bajar la calle. Good. No sé si los están copiando, si ya terminaron. Just let me know. Finish, teacher. Ah, okay. Very good. Let's continue. Nah, give me one second. I'm going to. Give me one second. Okay, now it says imperatives to provide directions. Let's continue with that. Go straight. Go straight. You know what is that? Como seguir derecho. Algo okay, así. exactly, right? Siga derecho. Por así decirlo. Right, that's go straight. Ir derecho, ir recto. Okay. Go past. What is that? Go past. Somebody that says that? Como el pasar. O al paso, ¿no? Yes. Go past. Al pasar. Right? That's what it says. Turn left. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I mean, here la izquierda. Turn right, turn right, that's the opposite, right? Turn right is like here la derecha. Go up and down the street. Go up the street. Vaya sobre esta calle hacia arriba. Vaya para arriba. Uh -huh. Go down the street. Ah, vaya calle abajo. Walk down the street. What is that? Walk down the street. What is that? Caminar, bajando la calle, algo así. Ah, okay. No, I mean, uh, walk down the street is like caminar por la carretera. Right? That's it. That's it. All right. Let's move on. It says, go on for two blocks. What is that? Go on for two blocks. Okay, go on for two blocks basically means vaya recto por dos cuadras o camine dos cuadras, como usted quiera llamar. Take the first left. Mencena, tome su primera all right, uh, avenida a la derecha, por así decirlo, o gire a la derecha, right? a la primera derecha, o la primera izquierda. So you see, you might decide in there whether to use left or right, depending on the necessity. Okay. All right, good. Any question with this, guys? Alguna pregunta con esto? Solo déjeme anotarte, chero. Okay, no problem. Dele, dele. No problem.
take notes. When you finish, just let me know. Finish. Perfect. Teacher, la asistencia, aprovechando. Yes. Now, the thing is it, que básicamente esta es la última slide. Voy a cortar, luego voy Finish. a pasar asistencia y luego vamos a pasar con lo del manual, ¿ok? Finish. Ok, perfect. Let's go, let's go. Ahora sí. Emanuel, pareciera que hay alguna, alguna alguna máquina cortando algo. So I going to make a print screen. Please. Ah, you mean the, the previous one? The anterior? Yeah. Okay. This one? No, uh, the previous. Ah, okay. Give me one second. Ah, this is the one. This one? Was it, was it this one, mister? Yes. Okay. Very good. Yes, it is correct. This okay. slide. Okay, perfect. Finish. Okay, perfect. Now, I'm going to pass the attendance list. Okay, good. Let's start over. Andres Joel. Andres Joel, are you there? No, okay, I think he's not there. Carlos Mauricio. Okay. Okay, good. Cindy Melanie. All right, she's not there. Stephanie Mitchell. Present. Present. Ah, okay, good. Thank you. Jacqueline Patricia. What's up, Jacqueline? ¿Por qué no me contesta, man? Me manda mensaje. Jacqueline, vamos a terminar el módulo y nunca me, nunca encendió la cámara, man. Okay, good. Let's move. Uh, Joana Saray. Presente, teacher. Mm. Falta yo. yo. Solo sí. Joana la contesta. ¿Ah? Falta yo. Yo después de Michelle. Ya, me ya, Karen. Ya la puse, no se preocupe. Ah, okay. It's in here. It's in here. Yeah. Es que me apareció con un puntito, no se preocupe, ya está. Uh, Jorge, no, mi Jorge is not here. I don't know what happened to Jorge. Jose Edgar, ya dijo present hace como cinco minutos. Ay, Juan Emanuel. Ok, mister. Jesus, I, I barely hear you, man. Ok, good. Julio Cesar is not here. Karen Beatriz. Present. Ah, muchas gracias. Good. Carla Lisset. Present. Excellent. Ah, oh, let me see. Raquel Stephanie. Raquel, are you there? Ok, good. Hey, Joana, dígale a Raquel que no, no se duerme en la clase. <ríe> ok, good. I mean, she's barely there. Tiene pero... pánico escénico con la Jacqueline. 
hey, what happened? Ya, yeah, me, me. Even Jacqueline, no, ni siquiera enciende la sí. cámara. Ahí le mando una foto de Patty, solo para que la conozca. <risa> ¿De quién? Jacqueline, ah, ah. le decimos Patty nosotros en el trabajo. Ah, vaya, le mando una foto entonces, aunque sea así se va a conocer. <risa> All right, good. Verónica Arely. Present. Nice. Wendy Yamilet, I mean, she's not here. Uh, William Ernesto. Present. All right. Xiomara Elizabeth. Present. Carlos Josué. Present, teacher. Ya, yeah, me Xiomara, ya, ya, ya está. Ya la escuché. Present, teacher. Okay. Good. And the last one, Reinaldo. Maybe. Solo tres clases de bonito. Okay. Good. Now, let's jump and go into the manual. Give me one sec. <laughs> Tengo filtro de que está hablando ya que. <laughs> uh, okay, what are you talking about? I mean, the chat room, de que, de que filtro está hablando. Okay, good. Let's move. Give me one second. I'm going to open up the, the manual in here. All right, guys, I have this that I want to show you up. Hmm. Okay, we got this one. Look at this. It says, listen to your teacher, read the prepositions, then practice the pronunciation. We, we basically finish. Basicamente es algo que estuvimos haciendo. Okay, con cada una de ellas in here. And some other ones, right? We were doing this. Now, what do I want for you? Look, it says pair work. Take turns, read the, con uh, the directions. It says your partner will label, listen up, your parent, um, in this case, your partner will label the places on the map. Okay, check this out. Si ven acá, hay un pequeño mapa, ¿ok? Hay un pequeño mapa en el cual tenemos unas oraciones over here. Tenemos ciertas oraciones. ¿Qué vamos a hacer con este pequeño mapa? Listen, vamos a escribirle la dirección o el nombre, en este caso, de el local al que pertenece. ¿All right? Por ejemplo, tenemos acá que dice... The hotel is across the street. Right? Good. Is this one? Okay. The hotel. Now, the second one. The gas station is around the corner. Okay. Listen. The gas station is around the corner. Entonces, vamos a ver acá. Si es acá. Que va la palabra gas, it is here or here. Okay, in there. Next, the bank is next to the gas station. The ATM is down the street on the right. The restaurant is down the street on the left. Okay, entonces, ¿qué vamos a hacer? Vamos a poner los nombres de estas sobre estos espacios en blanco. Ok. That's what we are going to be doing the first, you know, like part, right? Good. Any question about what you're going to do? ¿Alguna pregunta de lo que vamos a hacer? De hecho, lo vamos a ir a hacer en parejas para que podamos tener una, you know, like idea. Wider. Give me one second, I'm gonna stop sharing it here. So I can create the group. Give me one second. Mm. 
Now save. Just give me one second. Give me one second, people. I'm just doing this. And I barely see this thing. Okay, so there. William. Okay, good. Now, people, listen up. I just created a couple of groups in which uh, the intention is for you to you know, like discuss the possible uh, meanings of that thing. And then we are going to follow up with the rest of the things that we got from the conversation, okay? So let's open up the, work, the, the, the breakout rooms and let's go and do that part. Una captura. Ajá, una captura y, y así poder, este, no sé si me lo puede enviar a mí eso para, para regresar al suyo. Por favor. Va, pero. Vaya. Entonces el banco está a la, a la par de esta después de, del gas station. El gas está a la vuelta de la esquina. Está abajo. Ajá, es la primera de abajo. Uh -huh. Entonces el banco está a la, a la parte del gas. Uh -huh. Exacto. Y la, el ATM está... Calle abajo, en la, en la calle de la, de la esquina, de la derecha, ¿verdad? Ya que luego dice, ya que luego dice que el banco está a la par de la casa station. Entonces sería el cuadrito que está en... <ríe> ya ve el teacher que realmente no podemos leer mapa. <ríe> yo ya me perdí, teacher, yo no sé. <ríe> No sé, no, cómo, vaya, mire. no sé cómo se me ocurrió poner las juntas, si no se ven mucho, Manita. Había puesto un niño y una niña. Ah, yeah, man, I, I, I forgot that, for real. Se me olvidó. Me está castigando. Ah, no, Ahí está Manuel, que nos ayude. Manuel, Manuel, ya, man, es true. Oh, ahí está Manuel. Manuel. No, vaya, pero yo, yo pienso que mmm, la gas station es el cuadrito de la esquina inferior. Vaya, vale, pero espérese, que... cuando... Teacher, yo... Uh... Hola, hola. 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 Con el primer compañero que me puso, ahí dice oyente. Hola. Ah, mira, with William. Hello, William. Are you there? William. Hola, hola, Xiomara, ¿me oye? Yes, William. Le escucho. Hola. Give me one second. I'm going to send a message in the WhatsApp.
Hola. Ay, yo voy a decir something. Qué raro que esté poniendo en internet. Por lo general no, lo, no, no suele pasar ese tipo de cosas. Ya, yeah, me got problems with the internet. Bueno, sí, sí pero si sí, no, pues si no, se me hace que la voy a pasar para otro grupo. Teacher. Ajá. Es que como el compañero que me puso ahí dice oyente y he estado hablando y hablando y no. Ah, no, me with Edgar, eh, sí, lo metí nada más para que estuviera ahí de, de añadura, pero con usted quien iba a trabajar era William, pero veo que William tiene problemas de conectividad. Cosa que es raro. Ajá. Yo pensé, pensé que yo era porque él estaba a hablar y hablar a William cuando se conectó, pero no respondía. Ya, yeah, pero no, no, no. It's, it's him. Ok. Creo que la voy a mover para otra para otra sección. Fíjense que había tomado captura de, 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 de lo que vamos a hacer, pero la eliminé por error. Puede compartirme. Claro, claro. Dime un poco. Ahí está. Ya, está listo. Ah, ok, perfecto. There you go. Give me one second, probably William is coming. I see William viene. Number five. Teacher. Hello, William. <laughs> no, me estuvo, me falló el Inter, pero sí lo hice yo, pero me, no sé, me, hoy me está fallando otra vez. Ay, caramba, caramba. No, pero no problem. Ahí está Xiomara, entonces, para que puedan corroborar uh, y discutir qué es lo que tienen, ¿ok? Ah, va, listo. Perfecto. Hola, Xiomara. Hola. Ya perdí. Pero voy a ver la foto, ¿ve? Es que lo que usted me dijo, porque Gas Station dice que está around the corner. Entonces, si nos fijamos en el restaurante, está en una esquina, ¿verdad? Entonces... Uh -huh. Hay que sustituir entonces donde dice restaurante, donde está Gas Station. Hay que poner Gas Station ahí. Y el banco a la par de la Gas Station, porque dice The Bank is next to the Gas Station. Donde va TM, ahí pongamos Bank. ¿Verdad? O sea, que de abajo para arriba. Sí, bank. Pero te... Y. ATM. Uh -huh. pues de no, 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 espérame, espérame. De gas. Sí, o sea, solo vamos a sustituir nada más. O sea, Va, a ver, vaya, vaya, que... vaya, le voy a pasar la señal. <risa> teacher. Yes. Que son cuero, anda, teacher. Uf, believe me, ya me tiene hasta mareado un, un, un aspiral que tengo ahí. Sí, I'm like this, look, I'm like this. Porque tengo uno ahí a la par y, 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 y sí, la, aquí los, los, los zancudos están súper, súper criminales. Sí, a mí no me pican los Hola. A mí no me pican. No me quieren. Vaya, dice, el ATM dice, is down, is down the strip on the right. Ajá. Y el restaurante dice que is down the strip on the left. Hello, how do you go here? ¿Cómo vamos? Finish. Man, you finish? You're fast. Yeah. Cool, man, cool. Give me one second. Necesito revisar otro grupo, a ver qué tal, cómo va, y luego volvemos a la sala principal, ¿ok? Okay. Okay, teacher. Good.
Hello, girls and boys. Hola, Pitch. Hola, mano que está detrás de Carla. Sí. Ya cerré la ventana. ¿Y quién, ¿Y quién está moviendo detrás la... la, 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 la Nadie. La Nadie está moviendo la hola, 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 señor Nadie. <ríe> señor Nadie. Ah, me da was funny, that was funny. Ay, a teacher. Nos corrige. Va, Pérez, que yo no tengo el manual. Aquí pusimos que está el restaurant. Aquí pusimos que está la gas. El, el back y aquí el ATM. ¿Por qué se ríe, Tich? Está no malo. Es que no vi. Ah, ok. Vaya, ahí. Ahí, ahí, ahí. Ahí, ahí. Ok, gracias. Okay, Bye, ahí. Restaurant. Uh -huh, el del cuadrito de la par, el ATM es ahí. The ATM is down uh -huh. the street on the right. Ah, ok, very good. ATM, ok. Gas y bank, el de la par. Bank. Bank, perdón, perdón. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The gas station is around the corner. Okay, good. And the other one is uh, the bank is next to the gas station. Okay, very good. Yeah, that's the way. Así era la manera en cómo lo tenían que hacer. Excellent, guys. Excellent. Good, man. Good. So let's go to the main station. Creo que ya la mayoría terminó. Así que volvamos a la sala principal, ¿ok? Ok. Nice. Okay, good. So I guess everybody's here. I guess. Okay, so let's start over with uh, the continuation of this. It says the hotel is across the street, right in here. But now listen, the gas station is around the corner. Where it goes there? Here, here, here. Or here. What do you think? ¿De acuerdo a lo que pusieron? ¿Qué va, qué va en esta parte? Restaurant. The restaurant? Read about the restaurant, Carla. Yes. Yes, it's a restaurant. Ah, yes. Okay. yes the teacher. restaurant is down the street on the left. Okay, very good. How about this one? ATM. ATM. The street on the right. Down the street on the right. Okay, very good. Next. Okay, what goes in here? Ahí sería, teacher, lo que es el gas station. No, 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 perdón, perdón, sería el banco. The bank is, is next to the gas station. No. Yo lo puse al revés. Primero puse gas, gas station y después bank. Y el bank. Abajo bank. Abajo. Primero gas station. Y a la par, porque la otra dice the bank is next to the gas station. Entonces... Me fui por la lógica. Entonces, primero decía gas station abajo y a la par de van. Ah, ok, good. So, in here is just gas station. 
And the other one is a bank. Yeah. Okay, good. Yes. Yeah. There you go. So basically, the mystery it has been solved. Y así es como el misterio lo han resuelto. No sé si, no sé si es correcto. No, I man, actually it's correct. That's the way. Yeah, man. Okay. That's the way you have it. Good people. Look at this. Do the phrases above have subject? All right, it says, yes, no, use a verb without a prepositional noun, an imperative, it says, to give directions, right? So this is, this is like mostly, right? To give directions. Okay, for example, look at this. On the right, we have a short conversation. It's pretty simple and short. Look. It says asking for and giving direction. A speaker A says, Good morning. Good morning. Could you give me directions? Could you give me directions? That's an app. To the nearest hotel. To the nearest hotel. Okay. And then the speaker B says, Good morning. Sure. Good morning. Sure. Go out down the street. Go out down the street and turn left. All right. And turn left. Then it says the speaker A, thank you, thank you. And the speaker B says, no problem, okay? No problem, good. Now, listen, based on this reading, listen up, and just based on this reading, no los mando esta vez a repetir o a practicar esta pequeña conversación, sino más bien hacer una pequeña réplica con sus nombres, ¿ok? Y usando el vocabulario que anteriormente ya vimos. Turn right, go down the street, turn left, between, ¿ok? Asking for a specific place, ¿ok? En este caso, si Carla trabaja con Carlos, Carla le puede preguntar dónde está, ¿qué? Metro Centro, por así decirlo, ¿right? Where is Metro Centro located? So, Carlos, will lo estar mentioning what you know like uh, what is the location from metro center okay like in that place ah que gire a la izquierda camine dos cuadras vaya recto all right all those things that you know that's what we are going to be doing at the end okay good alguna pregunta con lo que vamos a hacer any question O sea, teacher, que vamos a hacer como ejemplo lo que vemos ahí, pero lo vamos a, a sustituir por lo que queremos. Lo van a hacer a estilo pregunta. Así tal y como, van, como está esta parte acá. Lo, esta la van a sustituir. En vez de mandarlos a practicar esta, ustedes me van a crear una. ¿Ok? En la cual ustedes dan una dirección. ¿Ok? Que posiblemente le están pidiendo. All right. Ok. Formula. Good. Any other question? ¿Alguna otra duda? Teacher, yo solo que tengo problemas con el Inter, se me queda congelado de repente. Y me ha estado sacando. Está raro eso, super weird. Ya. Yeah. Veamos a ver si, 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 si se ya le, pegué, ya le pegué un porrazo al teléfono. ¿no? <risa> ah, mira, es cool. Se le funciona, se le funciona. So let's go to the main book, uh, you know, like the main uh, uh, manual in page 44, right? For the one who got the, the manual printed, okay? Good. Aceptemos y vamos a trabajar con las mismas parejas entonces, okay? Let's go. When you come back, we're going to practice that.
le voy a responder ahorita. Eh, I work near of. Espérame, espérame, espérame. I work. Teacher. Yes. Una pregunta, ¿cómo se dice alcaldía en inglés? No me acuerdo. City Hall, City Hall. Ahorita se lo escribo, permítame. Gracias, gracias. Permítame, Michelle. Así. Bye. Gracias, teacher. Ok. I, I work near, permítame, near. ¿Cómo? Eh, ¿Cómo? Podríamos iniciar como Good Afternoon. Sí, así como, así como va él, él en el, en el, ¿cómo se llama él? En el manual va Good Morning. Could you give me direction to y el lugar así, ¿verdad? Pero podemos cambiar el Good Morning por Good Afternoon. No habría sí, ahí como quiera usted. ¿Y de qué, de qué va a preguntar la dirección? ¿O a quién ah. le quiere preguntar? ¿Qué dice hotel? ¿Otra dirección? Where is located the bank, for example. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uy, esta cosa. Bye, entonces sería, call you give me direction. No, podría ser, where is, uh, pues, where is, uh, excuse me, where is located mm -hmm. the bank, the bank. Where is the bank located? Mm -hmm. Where is the bank located? Vaya, ahora quién, quién respondería? Pero ahí le, le diría directa la pregunta. Ajá, ¿a quién le, a quién le preguntaría, Carlos? A, eh, Carla, a, 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 a Emanuel o a mí. A Verónica la preguntaría. Vaya, vale. Verónica le va a preguntar. Verónica, where is located the where is the bank located? Ajá. Entonces yo ahí le pondría, eh, Verónica, where is the bank located? Ajá. Uh -huh. Vaya, ahora yo me invento una. Ajá. Uh -huh. Yeah. Teacher, we're finished. We're ready. Finished? Yes. Sí. I'm just gonna be, uh, I'm just gonna go and check another group then. And then we're gonna go back to the main section, okay? Okay, teacher, you look so tired. Very tired. <laughs> I am, and I, I have been using this thing. Es que está usando esto. What is that, teacher? Ah, uh, it's because I have a pain in my in my forehead. Ah, okay. <laughs> Sorry, um, teacher. Y, y estoy así como con los ojos así porque arde, arde. Sí, arde no, no, no pena, sino arde más bien. Entonces, ah, ese, ese, esa como como en la se siente se siente agradable. Ajá, lo helado, que se te bien extraño, ¿eh? very weird. <laughs> exactly. 
Por eso, es que, por eso es que me veo así como con los ojos apagados. Ok, teacher. Thank you. Yeah, man. Ok. Good. I'm going to check another group. Sí. Siempre sería la responsabilidad. Uh -huh. Good afternoon. Entonces la dirección donde donde dijo. Maya, I could have Podemos ponerle igual, igual, she would ask them on sure. Porque según veo, aunque diga claro, con gusto, este, por supuesto, la misma palabra me lo describe. Así es. La mayoría correcta, por decirlo así. No. Y ya que ahí mismo salga Emanuel como corrigiendo la dirección para que los tres participemos. Ah, en la otra pregunta que le va a hacer usted. ¿Cómo? En la otra pregunta que le va a hacer ella a usted. Mi idea es, vaya, como ya es una, una información corta, entonces yo comienzo y después sale Verónica dándome la información. Acuérdate, entonces le a, ahí... Le voy a dar ahí, una dirección. Incorrecta, Verónica, ahorita. Ajá. Ajá, entonces ahí usted sale y usted dice, no, Verónica, la dirección es en tal lado, para que los tres participemos. Vale, me parece. Entonces, está bien, está buena la idea. Vale, entonces, Verónica, entonces, voy a borrar lo que haya puesto. Y ponga the van is next to the. No, I mean, nobody's working in here. To the other in, in front from, of the, the restaurant, she said. In front of the uh -huh. All right. Yeah, you ready? Are you sure? <laughs> yeah, maybe it's a mistake. <laughs> Voy a quedar como la que no tiene inteligencia espacial. In, in front of the restaurant. Así dijimos, ¿verdad? Sí. Bye. Y ahí, la pregunta que usted le debe meter, de ahí le pregunto mejor a, a Carla. Y Carla queda la respuesta mala y usted la corrige, ¿vale? Para que no nos quedemos. Vaya, vaya, ya, ya me perdí. Ajá, ya me perdí, yo también. Titulemos. Vaya. ¿Cómo? Yo le vaya, comienza, comienza Carla. Ajá. Good night, Verónica, where is the bank located? Ajá, y ahí yo le digo, the bank located is next to the hotel and in front of the restaurant. Así era, ¿verdad? Sí. sí. Y ahí le digo, ¿Are you sure, Verónica? Of course, le voy a decir. <laughs> so, I was, I was looking, the van is located, uh, walking up, walking down the street, in the corner, the van. 
is located in my cell phone. Good, good afternoon. With great pleasure. No, Bahine by any same. Sorry, good afternoon. Could you give me direction of the school? Entonces yo digo, good afternoon, with great pleasure, ¿verdad? No sé si está bien así. Mm, bueno, yo decía with great pleasure hasta el final. Porque después de no iba a ir sure. Ajá, así es. Vaya, entonces. entonces de ahí... De... Ajá, uh, with great pleasure. No, de eso sigue vaya. después de... No. Ajá. Uh -huh. okay. Iniciando era, good afternoon, could you give me direction of the school? Tu contestaría, good afternoon, sure, the school is on the right side of the park. Luego contestaría, thank you. Y al final diría, great, great pleasure. Ah, ok, yo sé. Oh, sí, mm -hmm. sí, ya lo entendí. Y en eso va de último. Ajá. Ok. Vaya, ahora practiquemos. Comienza usted. Ok. Good afternoon. Could you give me direction of the school? Good afternoon, sir. The school is on the right side in the park. Of the park. No es in the park, es of the park. Of, of the park. Side of the park es. Okay. No. Pero ahí es, en, en frente de... de... No es en sí, frente del hotel. Está, bueno, yo lo veo como a la par. No lo veo como... Lo veo en frente de... ATM. Yo veo el hotel y enfrente. Good people, do you finish? Not yet. Bueno, lo vamos a poner así como dice Manuel. In, in front of the hotel. No. The restaurant, okay. ¿verdad? It's just four minutes. I mean, three minutes before you finish. No. Ya casi, teacher. Ya casi. <ríe> es que ya se me olvidó de que me estaba preguntando, Carla. <ríe> si ve el hotel o el restaurante. <ríe> el... Eh... Ya me perdí. ¿Cómo? Ah, del restaurante estaba preguntando de Manuela Carla y Carla. Ajá. Ajá. Entonces sería de. The restaurant is located in front of the hotel. Así sería. La, lo que yo respondí era is located the gas store. Ajá, que es como la dirección mala. Vaya, pues Ajá. sí, creo que ya terminamos. Solo, solo revisemos. Ok, sería good night, Verónica. Where is the bank located? Ok. Um, the bank... Eh, the van locator is next to the hotel in, in front of the restaurant. Are you sure, Veronica? Of course. Because in my cell phone. Cabal ya está listo. Hello, people, do you finish? Finish the show. Okay, perfect, perfect. Let's go back. Vámonos. Ya es hora. Ya es hora. Ya vamos, ya vamos. Ya, pase la asistencia. Dame, Ivania. Ay, ahora le tocan los 10 minutos, Ivania. No, no es a mí. Ah, esa ha sido Mara. Siempre me confundo con Facebook y Mara. Sí, es que trabajamos en el mismo lugar. Ah, con razón, por eso es. Sí.
a juzgar por su cara, William, que <ríe> no está contento con el internet. <ríe> no, teacher, no puede hacer nada yo. Estuve, estuve más queriendo batallar con el teléfono que hacer la, el ejercicio. Yeah, man, I know, man. That sucks. Eso sí. Es Antes bien. que se me vaya a cortar de nuevo, le digo presen de un solo. <laughs> yeah, man, we're just going to read what you have. De hecho, solo vamos a leer algunos que tenemos acá. Uh, and then we're going to, uh, you know, like pass the attendance list before we go. Uh, Carlos, you were the first one to finish. Who were you working with? With Michelle. Okay, good. Why don't you start? Okay, where is you work, Carlos? Uh, I work near of Kurkatansingo City Hall. Okay. Uh, my turn. Uh, where do you eat the lunch? I have a lunch in front of my work. That's all, teacher. Okay, okay, all right, you got it. Thank you. Give me one second. I mean, you got a lot of people that saying that it was removed from, from this. Thank you, Stephanie, and thank you, Carlos. Now, Carlos Camero, let's go, you and your people. With Miss Ivania. I am in Ivania, and? Estaba con, con Jacqueline, estábamos, pero se salió y no desapareció. Ustedes dos, sí. Jacqueline. Ah, Jacqueline, Jacqueline. Okay, okay. But forget about Jacqueline, then eh, eh, let, let, let's do it you. Let's do what you have. Okay. The, the customer, could you give me direction of the school? Good afternoon, sir. The school is on the right side of the park. Thank you. With great pleasure. No, okay. With yes. great pressure. I mean, and that's it. Ivania, Carlos? Yeah. <laughs> okay, good. I mean, uh, uh, okay, all right. So in 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 uh, this person, Jacqueline help you out with that? Is it you, Jacqueline? No. Jesus Christ. Okay. Okay. Good. Thank you, Vania Carlos. Now let's move. Mm -hmm. Carla. Let's go. Veron Carla, Veronica, and uh, who else? Emmanuel. Emmanuel. Are you there, Emmanuel? <laughs> okay, Mister. Let's go. Okay, good night, Veronica. Where is the bank located? Hi, Carla. The bank located is next to the hotel and in front of the restaurant. Are you sure, Veronica? Of course. So I was looking my in my it's located in in the corner. Walking, uh, walking down the street. Is located the gas station is around the corner? Yes, in the no, corner. Carla, the restaurant is located in front of the hotel. <laughs> oh, <laughs> salió sure. como lo ensayamos. <laughs> Oh my God. Como cuando se ensayaba para el 15 de septiembre y todo salía perfecto, pero el día 15 de septiembre todo perdido. ¿eh? That was funny. No, but you did it good. You did it good. All right? You did it great. Se me perdieron, pero, man, that was, that was good. That was cool. Okay? For the next time, we, va a salir mejor. Ya verán que para la próxima sale mejor. Okay? Good. Thank you, Verónica Carolina Manuel. Good. I think that was the last one, right? Let me see. I mean, William had already finished. Michelle was with William. And the rest didn't participate. Okay, good. So, people, listen up. Um, they're just missing two classes. Good. Bien. Ahorita, antes de pasar a asistencia, recuerden. Igual, otro, otro recordatorio. 
ya nos faltan dos clases nada más para poder terminar el módulo. Please, no se me van a confiar con las tareas. <ríe> Por favor, no quiero estar el miércoles ahí, de, de ahí ¿verdad? Diciéndonos, Ay, Carla, haga la tarea, Carla. Please, please, por please. All right? si, pueden, si pueden ir avanzando con lo del, lo del examen final, pueden hacerlo. There is no problem, ¿ok? No hay algo que se los impida. Eh, inclusive les puede servir un poco más de práctica en cuanto a ello, ¿ok? Ya solo nos quedan dos temas más. Entonces, ya eh, para finalizar parte del módulo. No sé ustedes si ya este, han enviado su documentación. Si no la han enviado, people, listen. Les aconsejo que, que, pues, si no son ustedes que la envían, ¿ok? Y al menos mencionen ahí a Recursos Humanos que, que, que pues, cómo está el proceso, si ya se envió y todo para poder habilitar el siguiente módulo. Entre más rápido se haga ese papeleo, más rápido habilitan el siguiente módulo, ¿ok? That's, that's why eh, I am asking. Y así, pues, ustedes también no caen en eso de que posiblemente no sean incluidos a, al siguiente módulo, ¿ok? Recuerden que si envían tarde su documentación, posiblemente uh, pues, no va a estar en el módulo, ¿ok? O si este va a estar, a I mí, mean, as a listener. So, that was a, just a brief, you know, like, saying. Good. Now, I'm going to pass the attendance list before we go, people, ¿ok? Teacher, una consulta. Ya, yeah, Carla. Uh... ¿Hasta cuándo tenemos para mandar la información? No les habían mandado esa información ya. Hasta el 30 tenés, eh, Carla. Pone que tenés ah, el okay. 30 de este mes. Right? Ok. Sí, le consulto porque ahora le dije a la de recursos humanos, pero como que me ignoró y yo así como que... Ok. Entonces por eso le pregunto, pero mañana lo voy a hacer presente. Yes, yes, porque sí, a veces nos ha pasado que... Hay algunos que han dicho de que pues, recursos humanos, según ellos, ya habían enviado la documentación, pero al final no y, y pues mm -hmm. quedan fuera del, 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 del siguiente módulo. Entonces, just, just for you to, to, to get to know that, ¿ok? Ok. Good. Now, I'm going to pass the attendance list. Let's see, Andrés Joel. Andrés, ok. Let's know that. Let's move. Carlos Mauricio. Present teacher. Okay, perfect. Cindy Melanie, she didn't show up. Stephanie Michel. Present. Okay, excellent. Ivania Yamilet. Present teacher. Good, good. Jacqueline Patricia. Jack, I mean Jacqueline. She went away. Let me see. Joanna Sarai. Present teacher. Nah, I mean, you're there. Good. Jorge Alberta is not here. Jose Edgar, ya dijo present. Ah, Juan Emanuel. Present. Ah, okay, very good. Let's continue. Julio Cesar is not here. Karen Beatriz. I mean, even Karen got promise. She won. Carla Lisette. Present. Okay, very good. Raquel Stephanie. Raquel Stephanie. Okay, she's not there. Veronica Lee. Present. Okay, very good. Let's move. Wendy Jamilet. She's not here. Mm -hmm. William Ernesto. Present. Good night, teacher. All right, good night, mister. Xiomara Elizabeth. Man, and I, I got the 10 minutes feedback with Xiomara, and she's not here. Jesus Christ. Good. Carlos Josue. Present, teacher. Okay, excellent. And we got the last one, Reynaldo Chavez. Ah, which is not here. Good. I just want to do that something. Hola. Good night, everybody. Hi, I mean, good night, people. Okay. Let's see you. Let's see you tomorrow, okay?
in another video conference. All right. Let's go, everybody. Okay, good. What's up, mister? You were the last one. Okay, as, as always, most of the students who were, you know, like listed to have the 10 minutes feedback tonight, they were not basically uh, shown up to the class. So that's why I decided to take a feedback from what we did today. So yesterday the topic was imperatives. Let's remember when we talk about an imperative, basically we are talking about a command, okay? So basically we're talking about a command that we give to another person. It's like an order, right? That is a order, una orden. Básicamente, cuando hablamos de imperativos, estamos hablando de eh, direcciones, estamos hablando de, de órdenes que nosotros podemos dar, o en otras palabras, indicaciones, right? Indications. For someone to do something, para alguien que, que, que haga algo, okay? So that was uh, basically what we were doing uh, with the students, and they were doing, and they were creating a series of exercises and short conversations, all right, in order to continue with, you know, with the process. So that was uh, something really important because we were uh, discussing how to provide, okay, address or direction in this case, when we are using, you know, like a location, an address, right, just by reading a map. And ladies used to tell me, ladies told me that they are bad, okay, with the uh, tools like Google Maps or Waze, but there are some of them that are good, okay, at reading maps. And most men said that they were good at reading maps. So it's clear that basically men, I don't know, like, uh, are the ones who manage this type of apps the most okay because the way they work is is is, is like you know like a little bit different so that was basically part of the topic right let's remember if i said open the door so that is a command okay that is an order that we can we can use so that one is is it, it, it was part uh, okay of what we were discussing. So it's basically um, missing two more classes just to finish uh, with the whole with the whole module. So I hope people you have understood everything we were you know like discussing in every class, right? I hope all the topics are getting clear. And uh, that was you know like part of of this right so by tomorrow we're gonna finish with the last topic that we are going to have and then we are going to have basically you know like a series of practices with the last with the last topic right so that's basically what we were doing so let's remember so in that case, let's remember, if I said now overtaking, that is a command that I'm basically doing, okay? No overtaking, maximum speed is, no you turn, done, turn, right, full zone, it's not done, continue, uh, this exit goes to you, all right? Don't turn left, all of them are, imperatives okay imperatives let's remember that okay so that was the whole class um based uh, i hope you have enjoyed the class people and let's see you tomorrow in another video conference
Bye-bye.